Hi, I'm Lieutenant Tina Jones, the Lead Public Information Officer for the Portland Police Bureau. I wanted to take a minute to address some questions and concerns that have come up regarding interactions between the police and journalists, specifically during dispersals. With the advent of live streaming and social media, there are many more independent journalists in the field in addition to traditional newspaper and TV reporters. For brevity, I am referring to all as media in this communication. PPB values our media partnerships and the foundation of freedom of the press. In the past several weeks, we have gone above and beyond to provide interview availability and access. Some of these opportunities include learning about our rapid response team and mobile field forces, what munitions we use and why, and providing media outlets the option to embed photojournalists to capture different vantages and perspectives from closed areas. We also provided media access to learn about LRAD, or the Long Range Acoustic Device, and how it is used to communicate messages to demonstrators. As a lead PIO, I have personally been in constant contact with our local news outlets over the past few weeks and continue to do so happily. News reporters are always welcome and encouraged to connect with our communications team for public or response information. When a civil disturbance, unlawful assembly, or riot are declared, it's because criminal activity is occurring and that the area is not safe for anyone. These declarations are made verbally multiple times over the sound trucks. The same warnings are posted online on our Twitter account. We provide ample time to leave the area before dispersal begins. As a reminder, all uses of force are reviewed to determine if they are within policy and the law. We continue to work with our media partners about the importance of following the lawful orders given by the sound truck, officers, and social media so they can stay safe and avoid arrest or altercation. The unlawful orders apply to everyone without exception. Our primary objectives every night are to protect lives and create a safe space for people to exercise their First Amendment rights. I want to thank journalists who are dedicated to keeping the public informed while following the lawful orders. We are committed to providing vital public safety information to keep everyone safe and informed.